Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic and I'm here with you guys today to show you guys what I do with my hair when I have an old twist out but I'm not just yet ready for wash day. So if you guys are interested to find out how I achieve my high puff on my old twist out hair, then go ahead and keep watching. So before we get started, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 1K. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up so I know what kind of videos you guys are enjoying. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys know, February is Black History Month. And it's just amazing how far the beauty industry has grown, that so many black entrepreneurs received an opportunity, created an opportunity, sought an opportunity to create their own brand to provide us with propping products so why not celebrate these folks and the popping products that they have provided us with and blessed us with and blessed the markets with so in today's video all of the products that i will be using are black owned and i have semi collaborated with my friend named penda and she's basically going to provide you guys with a video doing a whole face of makeup using all black owned brands i'll go ahead and link her channel as well as a video where she is doing her full face with black owned products down below and yeah so after you guys watch this video make sure you guys go ahead and check out nay's video and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the hair right now. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put it up in a high sleek puff, which is basically what I do whenever my twist outs are old and I'm just like not ready for wash day yet. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I use as well as steps that I follow in order to achieve a sleek up high popping puff so the first thing you're gonna need is a spray bottle with warm water low porosity warm water so i do have my spray bottle here which i'm going to use the second thing is something to just give your hair shine and like a slight moisture because you don't want to add too much moisture and i'll explain why later so the one i'm using today is a tropical living black castor oil leave-in conditioner and detangler and this product is just bomb.com. And then I'm going to use my Myel Rosemary Mint Growth Oil. This has been helping your girl's edges a lot. And then you're also going to need a hard bristle brush. And then also two elastics as well as a toothbrush or some other tool to help you lay those edges. And then the last thing I use is a Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. This paste is popping.com. So that's basically everything that I use when it's time for me to do my high puff. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my water bottle and just spray the perimeter of my hair. Because my hair is dry right now. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my leave-in detangling conditioner. So one thing with the moisturizing product you use when you do your high puff is that you don't want to use anything that's too thick or too heavy. Just because when you put the gel on after, it will have like a white residue or like a foam up effect. So that's why I love this Tropical Living Spray so much because it does not give me the white residue. It doesn't give me like the white thickening foamy thing so this is why i love this product but i would recommend using something that isn't as heavy of a product or isn't as thick of a product just so that you're moisturizing your hair but you're not adding like white residue or white foam to your hair so the mixture of the water and whatever moisturizing product you're going to use kind of like hydrates your hair and doesn't like you know leave it as dry as it was before i know that my hair is usually dry after like day two day three of a wash and go so that's basically why i use the water and the moisturizing product to start off with so that our edges are nice and moisturized and they're not looking too dry and then the next thing i do is going with my maya organics rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil and basically i just massage this on my edges just because when you do styles pulling your hair back whether it's a puff a bun a protective style whatever it is you are causing stress on your edges and in case you guys don't know our edges are our most sensitive parts of our hair and your girl is not trying to lose her edges they're already thinning out kind of so i'm gonna go ahead and massage this onto my edges so if you are someone who has like very sensitive edges or you do have thinning edges i would definitely recommend massaging a oil onto your edges before you go ahead and do that sleek back style so that's basically what i'm gonna do and i love 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 this oil because it has like this drop which makes it super easy to apply it to my edges so i just go ahead and droop and 
and I love this oil because it smells great and also I did find that since I have been using this oil that my edges have been growing back and they are growing thicker than they were before so I definitely have been loving this oil especially with the purpose of like you know putting it on before I do a sleek hairstyle and then the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my curls curl paste this is a passion fruit one this one smells amazing and I prefer using this than eco styler gel because I do feel like eco styler gel is one of the reasons why my edges were kind of thinning out I feel like it's too heavy of a product for doing a sleek hairstyle I don't know it could just be my hair comment down below and let me know your thoughts but I prefer to use the curls passion fruit curl control paste and this is bomb.com it's also one of the only products that i found that holds my edges down when it is time to like sleek and lay those edges so love 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 this product but i'm gonna go in and basically apply it to the edges i'm gonna go ahead and start in the back and then we'll move around to the front And then after I applied a sufficient amount of that curl control paste, I'm going to go ahead and take my hard bristle brush. This brush is... Me and this brush have history. Once upon a time, not long ago, it had a handle, but it broke. But I just love how this brush helps me do my hair. So, yeah. And then also I find that in beauty supply stores, they don't really sell brushes like this anymore. So, I was like, let me hold on to my piece of brush that I have left. But I'm just going and basically brushing my hair up into the direction of my puff. And making sure that we are brushing all edges, all sideburns, and all of that, all of that. And then after I'm finished brushing, I'm going to go ahead and take my two elastics. So with my elastics, I like using fresh ones not the ones that are stretched out just because i only go ahead and put it in once one trick that i learned is that if you don't like you know go ahead and wrapping it around three times your puff ends up being wider and more full so i just prefer to use like newer elastics that are not stretched out also when you don't wrap that scrunchie around three times it also causes less stress on your edges so just some things to note but i'm just gonna go ahead and Secure the puff, put it in the elastic, and I like to like pull everything so that we can have the most voluminous puff that we can get. And then I also kind of like fluffing my hair out a bit so that it's not like. So this is how we looking right now. And then also I hate when I have like that hump in the back. So what I usually do is I make sure I pull my hair up so that we don't have the little humpy dumpy in the back. I mean it happens throughout the day but like, you know. So this is how we are looking right now. So you can either leave it like this or if you are someone who likes to do like a little something with your edges. I'm going to show you my go-to for edges. I'm not really the best at baby hairs. I also don't have much baby hairs but I just like, you know, like to do a little design with what I got going on. So I'm going to go ahead and take my curl control paste again. And what I like to do is I just like to... Bring forward these little ears. Bring them out, bring them out. And then I go ahead and sweep my sideburn. And then I take my toothbrush and I just kind of do a little sweepation of a design or whatever. I really don't know how to do edges and I always say that. But I just do a little something, a little something, something. Okay, so this is our final puff. I went ahead and did a little slight work on my edges. I don't, you know, have much baby hairs, but I may do with what I have as I always do with everything in life. But comment down below and let me know your thoughts on my puff. Also, let
let me know what your favorite black owned hair care products or brands are comment down below and let us know also as i mentioned earlier in this video this was a semi collab with my friend named penta here on youtube and she did a video with a full face of makeup with all black owned brands so head over to her channel and check that video out i'll go ahead and link her channel and that video that she posted down below so that you guys can quickly reference it before you guys head out make sure you guys are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button down below we're on the road to 1k and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and as always i'll go ahead and i'll just include my recent uploads here in case you guys have not caught up for whatever reason and until my next video i will see you guys later